The Press Box Facebook page is presented by Toyota. Go to PressBoxOnline.com and click on the Facebook logo to become a fan today. Welcome back to Inside Press Box. And now it's time to take a look at the photo of the week brought to you by Yingling Lager, true American classic. Taste the quality that 180 years of family owned and operated tradition brews into every single bottle. Gary Williams waves goodbye to the fans earlier this year after a Terps win at the Comcast Center. After 22 years at the University of Maryland, Gary Williams announced his retirement as head men's basketball coach on Thursday. You can read the full story about Gary Williams' resignation right now at PressBoxOnline.com. Well, saying the time is right, Gary Williams abruptly is walking away from the job he's held with a fiery passion for the past 22 years. Gary's first head job in Division I was way back in 1978 at American University. By 1982, he went back to Boston College where he briefly worked as an assistant under his mentor, Dr. Tom Davis. Gary took deep BC to a couple NCAA berths before moving in 1986 to the real big time in taking the Ohio State job in Columbus, Ohio, where in four years, he took the Buckeyes to one NCAA tournament and a couple NIT tournaments. But events that occurred with the death of Terps great Len Bias that would lead ultimately to the resignation of longtime Terps coach Lefty Drizel would open the door for Williams' return to his alma mater. The Terps brought in a totally unprepared Bob Wade to replace Drizel, and it was for issues under his Wade stewardship at College Park that put the program in a position that had faced severe sanctions from the NCAA, even with Wade's firing. Gary Williams came home, he had a passion for his program, he had an ego as large as his faux temper tantrums. Gary Williams also could rub those that weren't his sycophants the wrong way. See his feud with former Maryland ADW Yeah, I never cared much for his act or his personality. That started when he had a huge falling out with a friend of mine who was also an alumnus, and I'll save the details for another day. No matter the import of my thoughts or feelings, the guy could coach and he did a very solid job at College Park over the past 22 years. With Jordan Williams' decision earlier this week to leave after just two years at Maryland, and with a world of basketball left for him to learn, he opted to enter the NBA draft in June, leaving Gary Williams. Short at the post at his age, he decided the time was right to not fight the windmills anymore. He'll be an interesting act to follow at College Park. I sat down in 2009 with Gary before the season, and it was kind of ironic what he said as I look back at the interview. Let's take a look and listen. Gary, thanks for stopping by very much. Gary, 21 years here at the University of Maryland. Where is the time gone? Yeah, I know. I, I told James uh, Padgett that I was coaching here before you were born. <laughs> and, like, uh, that's hard to believe. I don't know. I, I think you get into coaching, and especially nowadays, seasons tend to roll into each other. It's not like you have your summer off or, you know, you get this time away from the team or whatever. And so it's it's really a great job. I mean, you, you think about, you know, what basketball has meant to me, and I get to do basketball still. You know, I'm still doing basketball. So I've always looked at uh, coaching. You can't, be, you can't be a coach at, you know, say the ACC level if you look at it as a job because you got to put more hours into it than maybe you would a normal job. But the rewards are great. And, you know, coaching's highs and lows. So there's never... You know, you just go along. It's uh, always highs and lows. I saw the other day that John Wooden's going to turn 99 years old. Your mentor, I guess, the most important guy for you was Dr. Tom Davis. Who were the guys that made you want to be a basketball coach? I had a great high school coach. Um, his name was John Smith, believe it or not. He's still alive. He was down to a game last year, in fact. And uh, he... he um, he meant a lot to me in high school. He, he meant a lot to me, not just as a coach, but as a person. And I wanted to be a high school coach because of him. That, that's When I came to Maryland, I wanted to be an NBA player, but about my sophomore year, I, I knew that wasn't going to happen. So the next thing was, how do I stay with basketball? Well, it was coaching. And, and so he inspired me to do that. Then, of course, Tom Davis was, was a big thing. And my, my coach here, Bud Milliken, if you look at the number of coaches he turned out while he coached, he was a great fundamental coach. He had played for Henry Iba. So he had all the defensive principles that you'd ever need to be a good defensive coach. And, you know, if you paid attention to him, and he was tough, you know, he was very tough to play for. But, you know, wanting to be a coach, I knew I was playing for the right guy. And that does wrap up another edition 
of Inside Press Box, Gary Williams. Thanks for tuning in and keep up with us throughout the week at PressBoxOnline.com.